Hi guys and welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you how to do the Disney inspired cheese stuffed pretzels that we all love so much. I love these things but they're getting harder and harder to find at Disney World so I decided let me try them at home and see if I can recreate it. Um, so I went to my local supermarket store and they actually have a box that comes with everything that you need to create pretzels. So I try to make my life a little bit easier since I've never done pretzels before, um, homemade, and I went for it. So this brings the pretzel mix, baking soda for the water, it has the yeast, and the salt. And basically all you need is a thermometer for the water. Um, you need a pot for the pan of water and you also need oil. Um, as you can see, that's the yeast. You just want to cut it and dump everything in that bowl. There's no need to use a mixer. You can if you want to. Um, if you don't feel like getting your hands dirty or what have you, you can go right ahead and put it in a mixer, but it's not necessary. As you will see, I did everything by hand, well, with a wooden spoon, of course, in the beginning. So you're just basically mixing in the yeast with the rest of the pretzel flour mix. And this is my thermometer. I bought this in Amazon a few months ago. I bake a lot, you guys. So I always have um, different thermometers. If you don't have this, I'm sure they, it says you can use tap water. Just make sure that it's warm, but not too warm because it will kill the yeast. Um, and it won't work. Now here, as you can see, I'm babysitting the water, which appears to be a little too hot at the time. So I am not putting it on. Of course, it cooled off too much. So then I had to just put in the oil, you guys. And that's basically what I'm doing here. You measure out your oil, dump it right in, right in the same bowl. And then you're able to incorporate the water. So because I had to change my water, I, of course, had to recheck that it was the correct temperature. I think it lets you get to, like, 120 or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but I'll put everything in the description box below. Um, if you guys do have any questions or any concerns, I'll be happy to answer them. I did um, purchase this in a box. So... Um, I don't know if I'm the best person to let you know since I only did this once. I did not try multiple times. Um, but yeah, I was excited and happy that it was quick and easy, you guys. You just mix it all by hand. Afterwards, I started to knead it because it was starting to come together, but not completely. And the wooden spoon just wasn't working. So eventually you'll get your hands dirty anyway. So you might as well just go in there and do it all by hand um so it also calls for you to put uh, to cover it with a tea towel and that's basically what i did i covered it with a tea towel the only issue is that i should have um maybe covered the dough itself um with a little bit more oil because it did form like little crust parts um over it so you got you basically have to leave it in a warm area so after that's done look at how nice and smooth this dough is you guys it's so smooth and good so i definitely recommend this mix for um if you're in a bind and you want to do homemade well semi-homemade um pretzels so you can do that or you can just go right ahead and buy a pretzel mix, but what's the fun in that? So basically, you're kneading. I did knead for five minutes. I did not put it in here because I thought it would be a little too boring for you guys to see. Five minutes of me kneading the dough. After about five minutes, it's very, very smooth, you guys. Um, it won't be sticky anymore and it won't be dry. And what it, the recipe says to cut it into nines, of course, um, I obviously don't know how to count because I did eight, but that's okay. <laughs> I figured I would do eight only because since I'm stuffing them and that mix is more for regular pretzels, then I decided to do that. So basically what you're doing is you're rolling 
from the middle and working your way outwards. This is the most tedious part, you guys. It will take you forever to do. Um, and my cutting board was just moving all over the place. So after you get it to the, I believe it's 18 inches that you want it in length. What I ended up doing was flattening it out because I am stuffing it with cheese. Now, the cheese that I used was half a cream cheese, a whole block of pepper jack cheese, and I mixed it together. Of course, you guys, the cheese was in the fridge. I didn't leave it at room temperature, and then I was like the Hulk trying to push this cheese out <laughs> to stuff the pretzel so don't mind me if you see me like straining or you see me like struggling. That is why it was just like ridiculously hard to do. However, after about the third um pretzel being stuffed, it got smoother because it was out in room temperature for quite a while. So what you want to do is pinch it. You want to grab one side of the dough and pinch it with the other until you completely cover the cheese portion of it and you want to do this all the way through once you get that together then you'll be able to form your pretzel and what you do is you create the letter u you twist it twice <laughs> you guys i'm looking at the instructions to make sure so you twist it twice and then what you end up doing is you pinch the ends of it to the bottom of the pretzel so you see me pinching on the top but you see how i'm pulling back is because you're supposed to pinch at the bottom what you're trying to do is trying to avoid that when you put it into the water that it does not open up and release all that cheese so at this point you want to stretch it out make sure that all the um endings of it is nice and covered and once you do that, basically what you end up doing is um, making sure that you have everything completely covered in um, a pan. You can't really see it, but I ended up getting a um, cookie sheet pan and I put parchment paper on it and I put all my pretzels in there. And I not only did pretzels, but I also did the pretzel knots. Um, for that one, I don't know if I ended up filming it or not. However, if I do have it, I will attach it to it. But if I don't, I'm so sorry. I can't <laughs> help you guys. So basically, that's what you want to do. So uh, you continue on. You do this for all your eight pretzels. I ended up doing, I believe it was four of them. Well, I did three, and my boyfriend did the last one, um, which we did not take a picture of it. And you guys, it was the funniest thing ever. It was the crispiest, thinnest pretzel ever. <laughs> so once you do that, what you want to end up doing is putting the pretzel in the um baking soda mix for I believe it's like 10 seconds and make sure you don't leave it longer than that then you take it out of there you put it back onto the cookie sheet and you put it in the oven to bake so what you see here is the beautiful brown mixture of pretzel they did open up a little bit in the baking that's where you see all that cheese and the uh, leftover um, crust that like spilled out and what have you. But it was so yummy, you guys. It still tasted awesome. It was not Disney. Um, like it did not taste just like how Disney's one is, you know, you know, but it was delicious. It was eaten. It was amazing, you guys. It actually was good. And I was kind of surprised for my first time. But as you can see, you definitely don't want to miss that step of stretching out the dough. Um, what you're seeing here is the cheese stuffed pretzel, which is amazing, you guys. You can see the cheese inside of it. I did not put a lot of cheese, although it looked like a lot. Um, somehow it disappeared. <laughs> it did have cheese all throughout the whole entire 
um pretzel but i think once it opens some of it may have leaked out but they still came out really delicious and really good so i definitely would give this a thumbs up you guys you should try it this was my favorite one this was the actual the first um pretzel i did so i put it on there and as you can see these are the different rolls that i ended up doing and they're all cheese stuffed so i hope you guys like it until next time bye